I never imagined that one day I'd be trafficked. I never imagined that going working abroad, I'll come back a different person. But I'm happy because it opened my mind. Mm. I saw things in a different perspective. I would understand somebody would speak. If you stay in Kenya, you'll never know what happens outside there. So when I went outside and came back, I saw things in a very, very different form that I never imagined people live like that. People would go through all that. What they say, it is true. It is not a lie. I saw it with my own eyes. I went through it. I was like shocked that I would have my own passport. Reaching on Saudi Arabia, my passport would be taken away. I have my ikama. My ikama would be taken away. My working permit would be taken away. I'm like under the mercy of my employer. I could not do anything. If she would decide I would eat food, I would eat. If I would not eat, I would not eat. I was at her mercy. And I would wonder if somebody would not believe that. And I went through that. For one year and eight months, something, I went through so many things that you cannot even share with your family because of stigma. You can't. You can't even share with your friends. And there are people who have gone through a lot more than I did. I almost got beheaded because of doing something that was, I was forced that was not on my contract. And I would want to reach anybody out there. We, I know we are so many. There are men also who have gone through hell and come back. But they are silent, they are sitting down, they are not talking. I would want them to reach me. Reach Sophie. We really want to talk. It is so good to share what you have gone through with somebody who has gone through. They would understand you much better than somebody who has never gone through. Thank mm. you. Ruth, when did you go to, to uh, the Middle East? Mm. Uli and uh, I went to 2014. Mm. Yes. In 2014, mm. um, after Ramadan. Mm. That would be like end of the year. Mm. End of the year. Mm. Then I stayed for one year. Mm. That would be, I came back, I think, um, 2017, mm. somewhere there. And I think for the benefit of the viewers, take us through your process. How did you know about the opportunity? What was the process of application? Uli travel, laji, uli fika, the reception, iyoyote, please, mm. if, if it is possible. Mm. Okay. Mm. I'll just brief you. Mm. Some details are not very good okay. remembering. Okay. 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 Mm, going to Gulf is a booming business. It's all over. It's easy to get someone to take you there. I had a neighbor. Mm -hmm. She told me it is good. You'll have your own place, your own bed, your own bathroom, everything. She told me everything. My expectation, like they differed with my reality. Thought my reality for real. Because when I went there, what I saw was different. So in one week's time, I had my passport and I was traveling. Immediately I contacted her. She would even pay my fare to go to town. I didn't have money. I have a son who has to go to school. I have a child who has to go yeah. to school. Yeah. Yes, so I had to go. Financial headwinds is too much we'll with my mother. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So it was a easy, easy way for me to go. Yeah. But I wouldn't complain about my agency. That man was good. I would call him even in the middle of the night and he would pick my phone and he would advise me and tell me what to do. Yeah. 